I'm Richard Banks. Whether or not we name it, we all seek a balance among the moving parts of our lives. We strive for an agreement between our physical and spiritual worlds. Yet too often we find ourselves incapable of summoning the state of being. Why? There is a place whose people have been on a never-ending quest to achieve a concord between life's jagged puzzle pieces. And some believe they have found its secrets. Hong Kong, Macau, and Guangdong, three pearls in one exquisite setting. Each distinct, yet bound together by a cultural veneration of harmony. Just as a wick needs a flame, some of us can't live without exploring our existence. And I inevitably find myself turning to the East and the wisdom of the ancients. So once again, I'm pulled back to China and the Pearl River Delta in search of the roots of the human desire for harmony. Harmony implies balance and the ability to integrate different elements into a pleasing unity. It incorporates the Chinese concept of yin-yang, opposite forces that come together to form a whole. Chinese philosophers have long honored the concept of harmony. Confucius spoke of harmony without uniformity teaching that the world is full of contradictions, but that we should try to accommodate them to achieve a vital equilibrium. Taoists believe that by following practices that achieve balance in daily life, they gain harmony with the universe. And the Buddha said that for the enlightened one, harmony is his joy, his delight, and his love. Today we see this fundamental value represented in so many different ways. In the trilogy of spaces we'll visit, we'll explore how the people of the Pearl River Delta seek harmony in this age. In Hong Kong, we'll discover how the rounded shoulders of tradition find poise and meaning with the new and modern. In Macau, we'll explore how Western sensibilities integrate with Eastern aesthetics. And in Guangdong, we'll look at how some today are rediscovering ancient attitudes about integrating human workings with the natural world.